Howdy friends! Expedition 5 Exobiology has returned to No Man's Sky for a limited time, and that got me thinking about the strangest exobiology I've encountered on my travels. You know, weird critters that can hardly be considered critters at all. And that got me thinking about the strangest forms of life that you could encounter in the game, period. I'm Kanaju, and these are the 10 strangest life forms in No Man's Sky. Now, to be clear, this isn't the 10 strangest fauna in the game. That'll be its own video, don't worry, but you'll see why in a minute. So let's start with number 10, gaseous sentience. These strange conscious balls of gas and energy can be found floating around the universe. While encountering one, their consciousness can override your ship communicator, allowing them to communicate with you. While their words are brief, they offer us a glimpse into their mystery. For example, they always use the pronouns we and us when describing themselves. This could mean that they're somehow connected to other gaseous entities in a sort of hive mind. It could mean that there are multiple consciousnesses within each gaseous sentience. Or it could also mean that they feel connected to us, the player, enough to consider us one in the same. This last idea is based on an encounter where the sentience claimed, quote, through you, we perceive ourselves. <laughs> I've always loved the idea of the universe being able to perceive itself through the life that forms within. Just as interesting, though, is the idea that these life forms seem to spawn from stars. In that same encounter, the sentience will ask, You perceive this nebula, infant sentience? Nebulas, of course, are most commonly associated with the birth and death of stars. Reinforcing that possibility is another sentience which stated, Here we were a star, and here we will recur. Crimson Rebirth is promised to us and you alike. Wonder what that means? Number 9. Living Metalloid These strange life forms can also be found floating around in space. It's unknown if they're conscious or not. In fact, the only hint we're given that they're not just a machine is in their name, Living Metalloid. Based on my <coughs> detailed research, a metalloid is an element that exhibits properties of both metals and non-metals. Considering the periodic table of No Man's Sky is different than that of our universe, it's possible this fictional element could lead to the formation of organic compounds and then simple life. However, given the floaty spinny bits with beams of light shooting out of them, it's more probable that this is some sort of Corvax experiment. As you know, those Corvax know a thing or two about artificial life. Number 8. Sentient Plants I considered mutant plants for this list, but I think these are even stranger. Sentient plants are exactly what they sound like, plants that are aware of their surroundings. They actually come in a couple of different flavors and can be found in a variety of environments. To be honest, I'm not sure what sets them apart from carnivorous plants, as they both seem able to react to the presence of travelers, but perhaps carnivorous plants aren't actually aware of their own existence. Hard to say. Number 7. Alien Multitools Yep, <laughs> it's going to be one of those lists. Alien multi-tools are weird. They appear organic in nature, yet it's never stated whether they're actually alive or not. Conventional definitions of life are fuzzy when it comes to the No Man's Sky universe. Do alien multi-tools have the capacity to reproduce? Is reproduction even required for something to be considered alive? Not necessarily. Alien multi-tools could be considered a kind of organic machine. Perhaps they're grown in a lab, similar to some organic compounds, but then by the time you get it, it's just a corpse of its former self, retrofitted with tech. My favorite theory, though, is that they are, in fact, alive. And that when you reload or recharge tech, you're essentially feeding your multi-tool. Regardless, it's interesting to note just how little lore or explanation is given to these powerful tools. Let me know your theories in the comments, though. Number 6. Asteroid Larvae if you've spent enough time in space, or seen my 5 most terrifying enemies video, you'll be familiar with this life form. Besides being one of the few creatures able to survive in the vacuum of space, they're also one of the largest creatures in the known universe. That we know of. The fact that they're considered larvae implies the existence of some fully grown celestial being with unimaginable power. I mention power because even as a larva, it's already invulnerable to your ship's weapons. It's even capable of drawing your ship in and damaging you with some kind of telekinetic vision. 
is an incredible life form with fascinating implications for the wider universe. Number 5. Living Ships Spoiler warning for the origins of living ships, feel free to skip to the next item with the time codes below. So, living ships are sentient starships, of course, definitely one of the strangest forms of life in the universe. However, they didn't just evolve into starships naturally, they're the result of Korvax experiments, ancient attempts on the lost Korvax Prime to learn about life outside of the conversions. During the Starbirth mission, your traveler is tasked with growing the various organs necessary to sustain this strange form of life. However, what makes living ships truly unique is the fact that they have a soul, so to speak. You'll have to gather soul fragments from multiple travelers in order to create your living ship's soul. Or maybe to replenish it, it's, it's a little vague. Their eggs, void eggs, can also be found floating around in space, and similar organic constructs can be found on infested planets. So, are living ships the cause of this universe-spanning infestation? Or are the Titan worms? Who's to say? Number 4. Stellar Intelligence No, I'm not talking about myself here, or Sean Murray. Rather, similar to gaseous sentiences, these celestial minds can be found out in the void of space. To my eye, they appear to resemble neural networks, with little sparks indicating neural activity. It's unknown how they're formed, or if they eventually grow into a more complex organism. However, we're given a couple of clues to their origins and purpose. When using our starship communicator near them, the screen will read, Electronic Intrusion Detected. Their words are essentially programming code. So, minor spoiler alert for the Atlas incoming. You know the drill. Taking these pieces of evidence together, these random neural networks appear to be processing data for the Atlas. While these could be manifestations of the Atlas's subroutines, they are aware of their surroundings. One encounter even includes mention of reporting the anomaly to the Atlas. So considering these are impervious to damage despite lacking any apparent means of defense, I think the theory that they're a part of the Atlas's cosmic brain makes even more sense. But let me know in the comments below if you think that's bunk. Number 3. Nanite Clusters <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting to see a currency on this list, right? But I would definitely consider nanites to be one of the strangest forms of life in No Man's Sky. Again though, it's difficult to determine what is or isn't alive in this universe. What's clear though is that nanites look like microscopic bugs with legs and antennae. <laughs> Nanites have been known to swarm and appear to have some form of sentience. One quote from the game reads, I look down at the nanite clusters, puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They're just currency traded between species to create technology and weapons, aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. So nanites function sort of like magic in No Man's Sky, to put it simply. They can be used to show players visions of the past, they can be used to purge emotions and memories, they've even been used to rewrite the genetic code of an entire species. Corvex bodies are filled with nanites rather than blood. And all of this on top of being a popular currency, and technology component. Nanites are truly one of the most underappreciated forms of life in the No Man's Sky universe. Number 2. Organic Frigates Living frigates? <laughs> space whales? Whatever you prefer calling them, these massive spacefaring creatures are some of the largest megafauna in the game. While at first glance they may appear to just be bigger versions of living ships, living frigates are actually a species all their own. Their origins are vague, but I believe they date back to the era of Corvax Prime, though I'm unable to find a source for this video. I apologize. What is known is that they communicate with travelers through telepathic song in a similar way to living ships, but they also have a unique ability that appears to be unique among all other life forms. That is, the ability to manipulate time and possibly reality itself. The best known example of this is the Leviathan from Expedition 7. Leviathan. I won't spoil the story of the expedition, but 
On the surface, you can see it's a time loop expedition based around an organic frigate. Enough said. <laughs> Other organic frigates you encounter seem to have either some form of precognition or have experienced timelines other than your own. In fact, organic frigates may even exist outside of the traditional space-time continuum of the universe as we know it, but that topic requires a little more research to verify. Another interesting trait is their ability to modify their characteristics based on your needs. Organic frigates can change their specialization based on your answers to their questions or the food you feed them. This lends further credence to the idea that they hold some power over reality, similarly to maybe the Atlas or the Abyss, but it could also just be they have excellent command over their own biology. It's hard to say. Also, fun fact, they travel in pods, similar to whales on Earth, so space whales confirmed. Now, before I get to number one, I want to highlight a couple of honorable mentions, those being the Sentinels and the Abyss. I won't elaborate on either of them for the sake of spoilers, but they're also quite unique, if not what we would normally consider quote-unquote life forms. So, finally, number one, Travelers. <laughs> yep, you probably saw this one coming, but Travelers are some of the strangest life forms in the galaxy. Many of them are the only examples of their kind in any given universe. I mean, look at this guy. And this one. And, and this one. Federation Helios appears to have some sort of energy-based brain, kind of similar to the gaseous sentience we witnessed earlier. Plus, I mean, they're a tree. And if you look over here, you can literally see Iteration Ares thinking. Not to mention the countless travelers across the universe, such as Apollo or Knoll. The anomaly race, which I would consider a kind of traveler, is also unique among the aliens of the universe, though I won't spoil what you look like under the helmet. To top it off, responding after you die is actually canon, as there are aliens who have killed travelers before, only to meet them again sometime later. So, while some travelers seem to have died permanently, others don't seem too bothered by their own graves. Suppose those other ones were playing permadeath. <laughs> all in all, when combined with the lore of the universe and the travelers' role in it, I'd say they're a fair pick for the strangest life forms in No Man's Sky. But, what do you think? Which life form stood out the most to you? Were there any on here that you hadn't heard of or maybe not considered before? Did I miss a life form that should have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like if you thought I did a good job putting this video together. As I always say, I make the videos, but y'all make them successful. And if you're interested in weekly No Man's Sky videos, plus some other fun content, I can use all the subscribers I can find. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.